Yo, hey, what's up you guys? Um, another video for me today, and uh, it's just another mob with every gun, uh, this time with the USPs. Um, now, I remember asking you guys a while back when I was um, first talking about doing a mob with every gun series. I said, um, should I be able to use akimbos, or what should I do? Um, should I only be able to use a single pistol, or what? Um, and I did come to the conclusion that um, Kimbo is fair and should be allowed to be used. And um, so that's why I'm using them, uh, because obviously they're better than any other attachment. Um, so yeah, look, uh, what am I going to talk a bit about today? Well, first of all, I'll talk about the, um, the challenge, I guess, of using a Kimbo pistol or pistols in general. Um, obviously, it's, it's tough to use, but... Um, yeah, mainly you have to sort of play a bit differently, I guess, because uh, you know if you if you sort of just run around like a like a freak, um, then you know you're gonna die because obviously people can outgun you with the pistols. You've only got limited number of bullets and you've only got um, a limited fire rate. So you know you go up against someone with an SMG or whatever, and you're gonna get owned. So yeah, that's why you have to sort of play differently. And this is actually a really really good stage um, for pistols and to try and get mobs on them because. You've got so many places that you can just duck away and hide away in, um, if you if you get sort of caught out and um, run out of bullets or whatever. So yeah, it's pretty good. Um, obviously, you saw already a couple of times now, uh, whenever you use knife with the Kimbo USP, you get knife lunge. Um, it's sort of knife lunge, but not really knife lunge. It's sort of just a different animation, I guess. Um, I'm not sure how the hitbox is affected. I don't know if the hitbox is... Um, is like extended or whatever uh, because it's a different animation but um, yeah it's uh, it's just a different animation I guess and it's it, it's what you would sort of get uh, if you were using the classic controller so I'm not sure actually do you get the life lunge with the classic controller I can't remember you I know you do in black ops or something um, but not in uh, but not with but not with the Wiimote anyway um, so yeah, look, uh, basically, and I've just, yeah, what else? Okay, what else, what else, what else? Well, recently I've sort of started a, um, it's not really, I guess it's sort of like a job, I guess, a new job, um, but it's sort of just temporary for now. And um, yeah, look, uh, I've, it's just such a pain in the ass. That's why I haven't, haven't had much time lately to put videos and stuff up, uh, because it's been stealing away all my time. Um, but man, I hate having to be like an adult. It's so annoying, you know, because... Okay, you can hear that probably in the background. Um, but yeah, like, I have to play adult nowadays because, you know, like, I'm doing all this job and stuff and I'm working with, like, all these adults and things. I'm not used to that, you know. I'm sort of an... I guess I am an adult I mean, in terms of age and stuff, but really, in my mind, I'm not. In my mind, I'm, like, probably still, like, 18 or something. <laughs> maybe, maybe 21, I don't know. But, um, yeah, it's just a pain. I hate, I hate being an adult. It's so lame. It's so overrated. Um, yeah. So, what else? What else? What else? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to talk a bit about what I'm, what's coming up. Um, now, I have talked in the past about doing... Oh, I think a couple of videos ago, I talked about uh, how I want to do um, a montage, a throwing knife montage. Also, a KSG reload cancelling montage. I will probably be doing those fairly soon. Um, I did say, actually, in those videos that they'd be coming in the next couple of weeks. And uh, it's been a couple of weeks, so I should be putting them up soon. Um, again, it just comes down to when I can find some time. Um, but, uh, yeah, I plan also on um, doing, like, a... Because I, I talked to somebody, I think it was... Um, I don't know who it was actually, but yeah, I talked to somebody and they said that um, setup video, you know, people like setup videos. Um, and by that, I mean like what my setup is, so like my TV, my games room and stuff like that. Um, I don't know, I don't know why people find such a fascination with it, I guess, but uh, I, don't, I mean, I don't really care what people's setup is, but yeah, um, I'll do one, I guess, and people usually set it at like, you know, oh, when I've got 200 subscribers, I'll do a setup video, whatever. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll do a setup video when I got like 500 subscribers or something. So if you guys can wait around for like maybe, I don't know, 5 or 10 years, then um, 
then I'll have a setup video out by then. So look forward to that. Um, if you're still alive by then, of course. And um, yeah, at some point I'll also do a, a reveal, a face reveal or, or a reveal. That's where I like show you guys what I look like. Um, you've already seen my sexy hands in my black magic disassembly video. Um, but you haven't yet seen my sexy face. So when I, uh, when I get maybe a thousand subscribers, I'll do that. So if you, again, if you guys can wait maybe 10 or 20 years, then uh, you'll get to see it. Who knows? I won't be so sexy then probably. Anyway, um, yeah, so the other thing I sort of want to talk about is, um, what do we got, what do we got here, what do we got, let me just go through my stuff, oh yeah, um, so I got some points here where I just sort of scroll through and stuff that I want to talk about or mention, and um, the dilemma actually, there is a there is a dilemma in uploading YouTube videos, and um, you know, it's not all, it's not all good, you got some disadvantages to it. As you already know, I've already mentioned how uh, in my previous video that my account was hacked. That probably wouldn't have happened if um, you know I didn't jump on YouTube, make all these videos, and all that kind of stuff. Um, so you know that 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 I guess is one of the dilemmas of, of being you know a YouTube commentator, being someone who puts stuff up on YouTube, is that you sort of become a target for all the lame people out there, you know. So um. No, check out, check this out, check this out. Yeah, triple, baby, triple. It's awesome. Anyway, um, so yeah, like like I said, you can become a target um, for these lame people that want to hack and whatever else, you know, troll you and all that. So um, that's, I guess, one of the dilemmas. But really the main dilemma, I think, personally, is that, um, you know, you share, like, your secrets, you share your gameplay. People know how to counter you then because they know how you play and they know, like, you know, how to, they can they can devise tactics to beat you, whereas if they don't know what you do or where you put your motion sensor, for example, then um, you know you you've got one extra thing like as an upper hand, I guess. Like for example, I noticed that um, that when I started putting YouTube videos up, you know, on my YouTube videos I use motion sensor. When I throw like I usually throw my motion sensor in sort of the same spots all the time. And now people that have been watching my videos know where I put my motion sensor. And so when I burst in the game, they come along and they go and find my motion sensor and destroy it. Um, whereas if I didn't have YouTube videos, they wouldn't know that I always put my motion sensor in the same spot. And so they probably wouldn't go looking for it when they're playing against me. Um, it's just the small things like that, actually, that, um, you know, that really annoy you in the sense of making YouTube videos and stuff. But at the same time, it's actually made me a better player because now that I know that people know where I put my motion sensor, it makes me become more inventive and more like uh, street smart, more smart about where I put my motion sensors. Um, and now I put them in places where you just can't destroy them ever. So like on top of buildings and stuff. Um, whereas if I didn't put YouTube videos up, you know, I may not have done that because I wouldn't have had to do it. So, you know, that's one of the things I guess um, so there's, you know, it's a double-edged sword, I guess. There's goods and good things and bad things about it. Um, but yeah, you know, whatever. That's just something to consider, I guess, if you're thinking about putting YouTube videos up. Okay, let's have a look around at the news of the day. What have we got today? Let's see. Hmm. Oh, we got IGN's running a um, Pikmin 3, five predictions for Pikmin 3. Let's see, what do they got here? They got the Species Expands. I reckon there's going to be a few more new colored Pikmin. Uh, they reckon you're going to be able to use the tablet controller. Well, pretty obvious there, guys. Um, what else have we got? Pikmin 3 and Near Field Communication. Mm, what's that? Oh, yeah, so you get like little, I don't know, figurines or something of Pikmin. And you chuck them next to your controller and they get scanned into your game or whatever. Yeah, that'd be pretty lame. And then you got multiplayer. Um, which I definitely would enjoy. That would be actually be a good thing. Um, what else have they said here? Bringing the planet to life. So they reckon that uh, the game will probably push for more realism, uh, stuff like that. If you can hear my mouse clicking, it's because I'm switching between screens here. Um, oh, they reckon that you might be able to do more than like 100 Pikmin on the screen at once, maybe 200, 500, or 1,000. I tend to disagree with that. Um, only because then when you see that on your little tablet screen, it'll be quite lame because your tablet screen is only like a 480p screen. So you'll be able to make out all the little Pikmin on your screen there. And um, 
Oh, that's what they put there. They didn't say that Nintendo would probably ruin it. Like, they've ruined everything else that they've done recently. Oh, well. Oh, I'll add a sixth one and say that Nintendo will probably ruin it. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens, I guess. Um, but yeah, look, I mean, that's uh, basically the end of the video. So, um, yeah, check, like, in all seriousness, though, like, check, like, keep looking back, I guess. I'm going to try and put up some montages in the next couple of weeks. Um, hopefully next week, or by this weekend, I'll put up one, one and then another one the next weekend. Thanks for watching, guys.